ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد in our praise is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we praise him as he deserves to be praised and we ask for his aid and his assistance and we seek his forgiveness we seek refuge with Allah azza wa jal from the evil of our own souls and from the evil of our wicked actions Whomsoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides, then none can misguide. And whomsoever Allah azza wa jal misguides, then none can guide. I testify that none has the right to be worshipped in truth, except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone without any partners. And I testify that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his slave and his messenger to proceed. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, fi kitabihi al kareem إن هذا القرآن يهدي للتي هي أقوم ويبشر المؤمنين الذين يعملون الصالحات أن لهم أجرا كبيرا. Verily this Quran it guides to that which is most just and most correct. And it gives glad tidings to the believers who perform righteous deeds that for them is a great reward. And we spoke about this in the last khutbah in some detail. However, today we're going to talk about its exact opposite. We're going to talk about music and specifically focusing upon the evil of rap music and the rap industry that many of the people unfortunately listen to in this time except those upon whom Allah Azza wa Jal has bestowed His mercy. Al-Imam Ibn Al-Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala he mentions that how the sama as shaytani, these devilish vocals, they are known by a number of names. And inshallah ta'ala, I'll mention some of them. Music is known as a lahu, idle, useless speech, a lahu, evil talk, wal batil, falsehood. وَرُقْيَةِ zina, A prelude for fornication. And that was mentioned by Al-Fudayl ibn Iyad rahimahullah. When he said Al-Ghina رُقْيَةِ zina, Music is a prelude for fornication. All an individual has to do is look at the evils that are present in what they call nightclubs. Music, fornication, alcohol. And every other type of evil that you can think of. Likewise, from the names of music is Quran as Shaytan, the devil's scripture. That which plants hypocrisy in the heart. The foolish voice. The wicked immoral voice. وَصَوْتَ الشَّيْطَانِ The devil's voice. وَمَزْمُورَ الشَّيْطَانِ The musical instruments of the devil. Brothers and sisters, there is no doubt. لَا يُجَدْ أَدْنَا شَكْ That listening to music, it decreases iman. Because iman in the Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'a is what? قَوْلٌ بِاللِّسَانِ وَاعْتِقَادٌ بِالْجَنَانِ وَعَمَلٌ بِالْجَوَارِحِ وَالْأَرْكَانِ يَزِيدُ بِطَاعَةِ الرَّحْمَانِ وَيَنْقُصْ بِطَاعَةِ الشَّيْطَانِ Iman with Ahl al-Sunnah is what? Statement of the tongue, belief of the heart, actions of the limbs. It increases with obedience to the most merciful and it decreases when a person obeys the shaytan, meaning he disobeys Allah Azza wa Jal. And no doubt, al-ghina, music, is disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So music, it decreases faith. It leads to a person losing his ability to reason correctly. Likewise, it strips a person of modesty and shame. Al-haya. 
and the individual ends up what? He ends up living like an animal or worse than an animal because he cannot satisfy his lusts and his desires. And that's what you see among these so-called pop stars. And in reality, they're figureheads of the devil. You don't have to watch documentaries about the connection between the Freemasons and the music industry because we know who's at the head of the table. It's the shaitan. He's the CEO of the rap music industry. He's their boss. Al-Imam ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala, he mentions the narration of Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu anhu wa ardah. Ibn Mas'ud, he said, Al-Ghina yunbit al-nifaq fi al-qalb. Music, music, it plants hypocrisy in the heart. Ibn al-Qayyim explains this. How does music plant hypocrisy in the heart? So next time a person is driving in their car, don't turn on the radio and listen to that filth. When you're alone, and if you have problems between you and your wife, the answer is not playing some R&B music. Because if she needs R&B music, to love you, what's she thinking about in her head? Is she thinking about you or the singer? That's not going to cement the ties of marriage. It's not going to bring you closer together. Ibn al-Qayyim, he said, أَنَّهُ يُلْهِ الْقَلْبِ وَيَسُدُّهَ عَنْ فَهْمِ الْقُرْآنِ It hinders the heart from the Qur'an and it prevents it from understanding the book of Allah and contemplating upon it and understanding it and implementing it. All you have to do is look at the music industry wahadu wa haq he said fa inna al quran wal ghina la yajtami'an fi fi al qalb abada the quran and music they do not gather in one heart quran and music they cannot congregate in one heart how can anyone want to imitate these individuals no doubt the individual who wants to be like them is not aqil he doesn't have sound reason and ration. He's intoxicated of something. He said, Lima tadad. Because the Quran and music, they're total opposites. The Quran it prohibits following your desires. It commands to have chastity. And it commands the people to what? Stay away from their lowly and immoral desires. وَأَسْبَابِ الْغَيْءِ And things that cause transgression. وَيَنْهَا عَنِ اتِّبَاعِ خُطَوَاتِ الشَّيْطَانِ And it prohibits us and forbids us from following the footsteps of the devil. وَالْغِنَى Music. What about music? الْغِنَى يَأْمُرْ بِضِدِّهِ بِضِدِّ ذَلِكَ كُلِّهِ Music commands with the exact opposite. Music commands with the exact opposite. وَيُحَسِّنُهُ And it beautifies it. And it urges the souls to the immoral lusts of transgression. It urges and incites the nafs to what? Immoral lusts and desires. That may be in a person's soul. Also, some people may have lusts that are domicile, meaning they're not active. But when you listen to music, it brings them to life. And look what Ibn al-Qayyim said later on. He said, فَهُوَ وَالْخَمْرُ رَضِيعَ لِبَانِ Alcohol and music, they are brothers from suckling. He compares music and alcohol to being brothers. Brothers from suckling. Meaning they're not exactly the same, but they're related and they're connected and they're tied and they cannot be separated. To the extent, فَقَدْ أَقَدَ الشَّيْطَانِ بَيْنَهُمْ عَقْدَ الْإِخَى الَّذِي لَا يُفْسَخْ the devil has made a bond of brotherhood between music and alcohol that will never be broken. They're brothers. They go together. Brothers and sisters, let's analyze the texts, some of the texts of the Quran and the Sunnah that talk about music and the music industry. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَشْتَرِي لَهُ الْحَدِيثِ لِيُضِلَّ عَنْ سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ لِيُضِلَّ عَنْ سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ بِغَيْرِ عِلْمٍ وَيَتَّخِذَهَا هُزُوَا أُولَٰئِكَ لَهُمْ عَذَابٌ مُّهِينٌ And you have some people, some individuals, some of mankind, they purchase idol talk, music, music, musical instruments to misguide the people from the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without knowledge. And they take it as mockery. And for them is a severe torment. 
وَإِذَا تُتْلَى عَلَيْهِ آيَاتُنَا And when our verses are recited to him, وَلَّا مُسْتَكْبِرًا They turn away in arrogance. كَأَن لَمْ يَسْمَعْهَا As if they never heard it. كَأَنَّ فِي أُذُنَيْهِ وَقْرَى As if deafness is in their ears. فَبَشِّرْهُ بِعَذَابٍ أَلِيمٍ Give the individual tidings of a punishment in the hellfire. وَالْعِيَاذُ بِاللَّهِ Brothers and sisters, don't tell us about halal and haram of Yusuf Qardawi, that he says that music is halal. Don't tell us that. Do not tell us that you went to a particular land and you went to a particular masjid and the sheikh told you, use your talents to call people to Allah. Don't tell us that rubbish. Do not tell us that it's the lesser of the two evils. Don't tell us that. Do not try and belittle our intelligence. Because look at this ayah. When Allah Azza wa Jalla said, "Wamin al nasi, man yashtari lahu al hadith liyudil an sabili lahi bi ghairi ilm." From the people, from mankind, you have those they purchase and they utilize music to misguide people from the path of Allah. Idle talk referring to music. Who said so? Was it me? Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu taala anhu wa arda. He said, "Wallahi aladhi la ilaha illa huwa." هو الغنى يرددها ثلاث مرات عبد الله ابن مسعود that virtuous companion he said by Allah by Allah whom none has the right to be worshipped except him this is referring to music this is music this is music this is music he said it three times do you still want to be involved in that industry does the individual still want to be involved in that filth and this is narrated upon Ibn Abbas and likewise Ibn Umar and others from the Salaf. And Ibn Al-Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala he said concerning the explanation of the Sahaba for these ayat. He said, فَلَا رَيْبَ أَنَّهُ أَوْلَى بِالْقَبُولِ مِنْ تَفْسِيرِ مَنْ بَعْدَهُمْ He said, no doubt the explanation of the companions for these verses is more deserving that we accept it than those who came after them. Don't tell us about the book Halal and Haram. Don't tell us about the Shad position of Ibn Hazm, Ghafar Allahu Lahu. Tell us about Quran, Sunnah, with the understanding of the Sahaba. He said there's no doubt that the explanation of the companions, it is more deserving that we accept the explanations. Why? لأنهم أعلم هذه الأمة Because they are the most knowledgeable of this nation. بِمُرَادِ اللَّهِ تَبَارَكَ وَتَعَالَ مِنْ كِتَابِهِ They're the most knowledgeable about what Allah intended from His book. فَعَلَيْهِمْ نَزَلْ And it was revealed during their time. وَشَاهَدُوا تَفْسِيرَهُ مِنَ الرَّسُولِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ عِلْمًا وَعَمَلًا And they witnessed the explanation of these verses directly from the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم as it pertains to knowledge and action. And Ibn Al-Qayyim رحمه الله تعالى he said فَأَهْلُ الْغِنَى وَمُسْتَمِعُونَ لَهُمْ نَصِيبٍ مِنْ هَذَا الدَّمْ بِحَسْبِ اشْتِغَالِهِمْ بِالْغِنَى عَنِ الْقُرْآنِ The singers, the musicians, the rappers, the singers, the musicians, the rappers, any type of singer, any type of musician, and those who listen to it, they have a share of this rebuke and this criticism depending upon how much the music diverts them from the Qur'an. Depending upon how much the music diverts them from the Quran. Likewise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he said, وَاسْتَفْزِزْ مَنِ اسْتَطَعْتَ مِنْهُمْ بِسَوْتِكَ وَأَجْلِبْ عَلَيْهِمْ بِخَيْرِكَ وَرَجُلِكَ وَشَارِكُمْ فِي الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَوْلَادِ وَعِدْهُمْ وَمَا يَعِدْهُمْ الشَّيْطَانُ إِلَّا غُرُورًا Allah azza wa jalla said to the devil and his party and his followers, Gradually lead who you are able astray with your voice. Bisawtika. Mujahid, rahimahullah. Mujahid, he said, so to who? The voice of the devil, the devil's voice, who al ghina wal batil, it is referring to music and falsehood. When I say Mujahid, Ibn Jabal, rahimahullah ta'ala, don't think that this is just any other scholar. There's no comparison between him and those individuals that say music is halal. Wal'iyadu billah. Mujahid ibn Jabr, rahimahullah, as we mentioned in the classes of Kitab al-Tawheed, 
He was the individual who said, Qara'tu, Ali ibn Abbas, Al-Quran, I read the Quran upon Ibn Abbas Talatha Marrat three times, Aqif in the Kulli Ayah, stopping at every verse, asking him, As'aluhu, why was this verse revealed? Concerning what was it revealed? So Mujahid, he said, concerning this verse, and gradually lead astray those who you are able, with your voice, meaning with music, and share with them in wealth, meaning if they earn it from haram sources. And with their children, meaning from zina and the like of these things, وَالْعِيَادُ billah, And promise them and the devil promises nothing but deceit. And that's all you find in music is deceit. Some of them, they lie about their identities. They take it from other people. Some of them, they're a fraud based on lies. They boast about the most frivolous of things. Because they have a car, they're wearing a piece of jewelry. Whereas in reality, and we mentioned briefly in the last khutbah, some music, it boasts of what? Kufr and ilhad. Some music, it encourages people to want to go to the hellfire and be immoral. Music, it calls to murder. Look, it calls and encourages people to want to go to the hellfire. Not to want to go to paradise. It calls us to fornicate with iyadu billah. It turns women, and Ibn al-Qayyim mentions this. How many chaste women? From music. And that filthy industry. They end up becoming bagaya, loose women of the street. Because that's what rap music teaches us. Teaches what? It teaches us to treat women like commodities. They can be bought with a pocketbook or a pair of shoes. And whether we like it or not, some people are still affected by it today. If you can buy a woman using a pocketbook or a pair of shoes, are we that cheap? That's where it's coming from. And anyone who claims to want social reform or uplift his people and they don't attack that music industry, they're a fraud. They're getting a paycheck from somewhere or they're involved in somewhere or they're getting a backhander from somewhere. It's impossible. La yajtami'an. الحمد لله رب العالمين ولا عاقبة للمتقين ولا عدوان إلا على الظالمين كالمبتدعة والمشركين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد الله سبحانه وتعالى يسد أفمن هذا الحديث تعجبون وتضحكون ولا تبكون وأنتم سامدون فاسجدوا لله واعبدوا Do you wonder about this speech? Do you wonder about this Quran? O polytheist, O kuffar? Do you wonder about it? Do you laugh at it in mockery? Instead of crying? And you occupy your life with amusement, meaning music. Who said so? Ibn Abbas, radiallahu anhu. The one who the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, asked Allah, azza wa jal, to give him understanding of the Qur'an. He said, as sumud this word mentioned in the ayah, as sumud wa antum samidun, it is referring to music, fi lughati ahli al-himyar, one of the tribes of the Arab. Music. Music, brothers and sisters, that leads to mental illness. Music, brothers and sisters, that leads to depression. Music that they have to glorify intoxicants, drinking cough syrup and taking molly or any other type of drug. Why? Because they're miserable in the life that they live. Music that leads to the feminization of men. If somebody was to just talk about the evils, they would need many sessions. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said likewise. The believers are whom? Those who do not witness a zur. Falsehood. They do not witness falsehood. 
And the meaning Ikrama, he said, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he said that the kuffar, when the Quran was recited, they would start to sing. فَنَزَلَتْ هَذِهِ الْآيَةِ And this verse was revealed. And we find from the ulama of the salaf, who said Azur, he is referring to music, and it's any type of false speech and false action. So the believers are who? They do not witness evil talk. In that, encompassed by that is music. And if they pass by it, they pass by with dignity. Umar radiallahu an. When he passed by music, what did he do? He put his fingers in his ears. And he asked his companion, can it be heard anymore? And when they told him no, then he took his fingers from his ears. Are we like that? Or have we been duped and fooled by this filth and this filthy industry? And in reality, Ikhwan, likewise, all it does is leads to poverty, further poverty. It sells people false dreams because the shaitan, as Allah tells us in the Quran, وَمَا يَعِدُهُمُ الشَّيْطَانُ إِلَّا غُرُورًا The devil only promises them deceit. Because in reality, how many people become rich from it? Very, very few. But it teaches people to be immoral, to not strive to have an education, to not strive to learn a profession. It teaches someone to want to be a criminal. It glorifies criminals. It doesn't glorify a righteous person. It doesn't glorify the working man that takes care of his family and comes home and he feeds his children. It doesn't glorify none of that. It glorifies the person that stands on the corner poisoning the people. It glorifies what? It glorifies the most immoral of people. And we have any doubt that this is haram? And for those brothers or those sisters who are involved in the music industry wherever you are and the shaitan has fooled you, fooled you with shubahat from the devil that it's good, it's the lesser of the two evils or I'm using it, iyaka, iyaka. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not only is music haram, Stop rapping and singing about Islamic themes and concepts and mentioning the religion in these filthy songs and mentioning masajid in these filthy songs and mentioning what community you go to in these filthy songs. Because this is not honorable. And it is not honor, rather it's humiliation. And it's not dignity or nobility. As we said, brothers and sisters, and we mentioned in the last khutbah, the way for upliftment and to better ourselves is what? Inna hadha al-Qur'ana yahdi lillati hiya aqwam. Verily this Qur'an, it guides to that which is most correct and most just. If someone implements it and understands it and acts by it, that will uplift us. May Allah Azza wa Jalla grant us success and protect us from evil and give us understanding of the religion, true understanding. And may Allah Azza wa Jalla allow us to be from those people that love the truth and love the people of the truth. Because some people, they claim that they love the truth, but they love ijram, they love criminality and the criminals more than they love the people of the truth. We need to analyze it. If we analyze our heart and we love people who are involved in criminality, a rapper comes around, everyone's jumping out their car trying to stop. What do you think? He's going to give you some money? You're just humiliating yourself. But if, for example, a person of knowledge came, if a scholar came and he gave a lecture, would that same person even show up? May Allah purify our hearts. Allah Azza wa Jalla protect us from the people of evil and those who want to harm us with evil. Waqim salah In addition to what we heard, Barakallahu Fikum, Ayyuha al Ikhwat al Kiram, Fiadil Khutba, Nasitu and Adkura, Mas'alatan Muhimma, I forgot to mention a very important matter, and it is some of the ahadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which highlight the prohibition of music that highlight that music is haram, it is forbidden. وَنَكْتَفِي بِذِكْرِ حَدِيثٍ وَاحِدٍ إِنْشَاءَ اللَّهِ We will suffice by mentioning one hadith that is sarih, that is clear in highlighting the forbiddance of music. And it is that hadith collected by Imam al-Bukhari رحمه الله تعالى that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم he said لا يكونن من أمتي قوم يستحلون الحرى والحرير والخمر والمعازف. The surely there will be from this ummah some people who declare fornication and the wearing of silk and the drinking of alcohol and musical instruments to be lawful. And this hadith clearly highlights the prohibition of music.
Because these individuals that deviate from the way of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they declare music which was haram in the deen of Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala to be lawful wa li'iyadu billah. And they go astray in this affair. And this hadith is authentic bila shak wa la raib. Wa la naltafit ila qadhi ibn Hazm rahimahullahu ta'ala wa man qalladahu min al-muqallideen. We do not pay attention to the position of Ibn Hazm rahimahullahu ta'ala who weakened this hadith and was blind followed by those who blind followed him questioning the authenticity of this hadith. And Imam Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullahu ta'ala in his book Igathat al-Lahfan refutes the error of Ibn Hazm rahimahullahu ta'ala and clarifies that this hadith is a hadith that is sahih bila shak wa la rayb from five different angles. From them that Al-Bukhari rahimahullah ta'ala laqiya Hisham ibn Ammar. That Al-Bukhari, he met his sheikh Hisham ibn Ammar and he heard from him directly. So if he said qala Hisham, then it is treated the same as an Hisham. The second, that Al-Bukhari rahimahullah ta'ala, he mentioned this hadith, Bisigat al-Jazm, clearly stating that it was something that was stated by the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam which indicates that it is authentic. And he did not mention it in Sirat al tamrid alluding to the fact that there was a weakness in this narration by saying ruya or qila or the like of these things. Likewise, if for argument's sake, and we know this is not the case because the hadith is authentic in Al-Bukhari. However, if for argument's sake, we said that this hadith is weak with this chain, then it is muttasil. And it is authentic in other books of hadith. And if somebody wants to look in detail about this matter, then Muhaddith al-Asr al-Sheikh al-Albani rahimahullah ta'ala has a piece of research on this subject where he clarifies the prohibition of music and he clarifies these issues of hadith min al nahi al hadithiyya refuting the doubts doubt by doubt, refuting the doubts doubt by doubt. So let anyone, inshallah ta'ala, wants to read further on this matter, Return to this, wa billahi tawfiq.